dear students uh, the most of the students are asking about uh, bsc four sem database management system important questions so these are very 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 important questions so, so almost you will get the question paper from these questions only so please uh, before going to the questions please subscribe my channel anu computer education so the first question so unit 1 so these are very very important question what is the database management system what are the advantages and disadvantages of database management system so you know database management system is a software so with the help of this what we can do we can manage the database by insertion deletion updation whatever the things you want to perform in the database so the everything will be monitored with the dbms so next to same what is dbms and what is the purpose of designing the dbms so in the olden days you know file based system we are using so instead of file based so we today we are using database because in the file based system we are having the we, we don't have the security so that is the main reason okay behind uh, developing the dbms is file system is not secure and dbm is is secure so so many so comparisons are there so that everything you have to explain so what is the meaning of data abstraction so what is the meaning of data abstract hiding so you know total three levels of abstractions are there view level physical level and conceptual level conceptual okay and logical level so these are the three levels you have to explain so what is the relational database so you know what are the data which we are storing in the database it is stored in the relational database nothing but making a relationship between one table with other table by using primary key and foreign key concepts so, so everything you have to explain what is our database architecture so this is also so i forget to give the star mark uh, for this question this is very very important question question number five and the star mark questions are very very important and what is uh, uh, right about the different types of database users so you know native user casual user so so many different types of users will be there that everything you have to explain so this is very 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 important question what is dba database uh, administrator so and what are the roles and functions of dba you know what a dba can do okay you can uh, create the user and you can delete the user i can you can grant the permissions to the users and you can revoke the permissions which is given by to the user and all the operations which will be performed by the uh, dba okay so you will design the schema and uh, everything will be done by the dba next uh, what is the uh, dba schema and its types Ex external conceptual uh, so actually it is same as your data abstraction only and what is database keys so, you know primary key a primary key is a key which is used to identify the each row of a table uniquely so is known as primary key and foreign key it is used to making a relationship between the one table with other table so composite key candidate key and alternate key so so many keys are there so all the keys definitions you have to write so next uh, write about the various uh, relational set operations uh, like you know union intersection uh, difference okay so all set operations you have to explain with example so what is the relational algebra what are the relational algebra operations so next what is relationship so making a relationship between one entity to other entity is known as relationship so we have different types of relationships are there binary relationship ternary relationship and unary relationship so all you have to explain with the example so when it is comes to the unit number two what is er model so today whatever the model we are using er model entity relational model so every entity is uh, interlinked with other entity so how it will be related so these are everything so next uh, what is er diagram the different symbols used uh, while drawing the er diagram you know rhombus uh, uh, like circle we are using for what start and stop and parallelogram is for input and output and uh, rectangle is for processing and diamond shape is for uh, decision making so arrows are used for flow of controls so all these symbols which are used in your diagram so next uh, so your diagram or uh, rectangle is for entity and uh, oval shape is for attributes and uh, decision making that uh, diamond shape is used for making a relationship okay so actually i forgot to uh, because a uh, year uh, diagram and some 
floor flow chart is also there na? so i got a confusion in this so this is the question this is a very very important question that is next question number what is attribute do different types of attribute so uh, derived attribute composite attribute prime attribute non prime attribute so all you have to explain what is entity and uh, and uh, design of issues so it is not that much of important then ignore the question number 4 so the question number 5 is very very important question so specialization generalization aggregation so with examples so generalization and specialization so top down approach and bottom up approach so that you have to explain with example next functional dependency if uh, x uh, determines the value of y so y determines the value of x so it means one attribute depends on other attribute so example you know uh, suppose if i take the employee table so all the values of the employees depends on the employee id so once you deter if you know the id you can get the information of all the uh, remaining attributes now so this is called as functional so whenever you create any table all the columns must be dependent one prime attribute of the table that is called as functional dependency and it's a very 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 important question you will get this question in final exam for 20 marks what is normalization so you know the what is the meaning of normalization the decomposing the given table okay so if any table is having or repetition redundant data redundancy so norm why we are using mainly normalization means to reduce the uh, data redundancy so we have 1nf 2nf and 3nf and bcnf so in the what is 1nf every uh, what every cell should contain atomic value so every cell should have only one value if it is containing more than one value that has to be converted into 1nf so what is 2nf every a non prime attribute must be dependent on the prime attribute of the table so what is the meaning of uh, bcnf transitive dependency if a determines y a b and b determines c and c should not determine the value of a so if any such situation is there so we have to break the table into uh, two or more pieces and we have to make a relationship between the table so that everything you have to explain what is entity and different types of entities you know entities are strong entity so you may why are given more questions you know because uh, it will cover the both short answers as well as the long answers or different types of entity strong entity and weak entity if an entity is having the prime attribute so that is called as a strong entity if an entity is not having the prime attribute that is called as a weak entity so the next uh, unit number three so compulsory one question you'll get ddl commands like create uh, drop alter truncate these are all our ddl commands with example syntaxes with examples you have read dml commands you know insert update delete okay and select you can write it and uh, tcl commands you know transaction control net okay so these are commit rollback save point and dcl commands are nothing but grant and revoke so these are very very important things so you have to write all these syntaxes and examples are very very important so you know various uh, group or uh, aggregative functions uh, like min uh, max uh, uh, next uh, sum uh, average uh, these are all our uh, aggregative functions so everything you have to explain so what is the meaning of nested query a query within the query is known as nested query it is also called as sub query so once inner query is executed the inner query output will be the uh, input to the outer query so this is the thing you need to explain so next uh, we have clauses these are called as clauses order by clause so order by clause is used to arrange the data in ascending or descending order and uh, where class is used to get the data based on the condition so group by class and where class both are uh, so group by class means uh, similar similar data we are can club uh, club so that is called a group by class having clause is same as where class but having clause can be used with a group by class so next what is join you know you can join one table with other table is known as join so we have different types of join as there self join equi join natural nat natural join left join right join so all joins you have to explain so what is view view is also called as uh, 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 logical table so uh, how to create a view and how to update and delete a view and how to insert a records into the views and everything you have to explain so this is very very important so what is the transaction write about the commit rollback and save point so this is already tcl uh, uh, command you learn so it will be covered so no need to learn so you can leave this question and uh, what are the various data types in sql 
like you know number data type uh, okay and uh, character data type and where care where care to all data types you have to explain date so all you have to explain now uh, functions and processes in SQL by SQL so this uh, question number 10 is very very important so I, I forget to give the star for this question trigger question is very very important now what is trigger a trigger is an event it will be fired automatically whenever that related event is happened so how to create a trigger and you with one simple example you have to explain and what are, what are the various integrity constraints so the question number 10 is very very important question and next when it is comes to the last unit of dbma subject so the first is what is transaction and what are the different types of uh, asset properties atomicity consistency and durability so what is the meaning of atomicity so atomicity is nothing but if whenever you perform any transaction either the transaction should be completed or so okay and consistency means what before performing the transaction after performing the transaction the database should be in the consistent set what is the meaning of atomicity either tra transaction should be complete successfully or it it should not perform anything so what is the meaning of isolation at a time if you are performing more than one transaction one transaction should not interfere the other transaction so that is called as isolation so what is the meaning of durability so once any changes which are happened in the database that should be uh, that uh, the changes should be uh, remain forever until we make some other changes to the database so that is called as durability now what is transaction so you know already various states of transaction you know active state first it will be in the active state and begin begin active state and uh, running okay so so terminate after that once it is entering it will be terminated so uh, uh, next what are the different states are there a bot state so all you have to explain in the diagram concurrency control uh, what is the need of concurrency control and concurrency control uh, problems associated with the concurrency control so these are not so what is the concurrency control with locking methods this you have to explain and timestamp method and as well as concurrency control with optimistic method so what is lock and different types of locks it is very 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 important 2pl uh, state 2pl 2pl rigorous 2pl and all you have to explain for this question and what is the meaning of deadlock if one resource uh, if at the time you are performing two transaction one transaction is holding the one resource which is needed to second transaction when the second transaction is also performing the second transaction is needed one more resource that is held by t1 transaction so this type of situation is called as a deadlock so whenever we are getting the deadlock then how to avoid and how to detect the deadlock and how to prevent from the deadlock so this is very very important question and what is the database recovery and why database recovery is required so you know in database whenever you get any problem so we are going to lose the data now so without if even if you lose the data also then what are the different techniques which we are using to recover the data so that you have to explain so what is the database security so whenever you are getting any uh, problems so then how you are going to protect your database so these are very very important questions so at least to learn the star questions the star questions are very very important so please subscribe my channel anu computer education so in future whatever the videos i'm going to upload in my channel so immediately you'll get a notification regarding my new videos so all the best for the your exam so thank you